Hello and welcome to another episode of Vitac University. You bought the best kit on the market, now let's make sure that you know how to use it. Here we go, let's go. What is up guys? So we are going to look at Coban now. Our particular ones you can't really pop because it has a hard plastic tube in the middle. You have a different version of it. Sometimes if you're in a rush, you can just pop the bag, but they open so dang easy. The primary use of these are if you are super cool and you have tattoos, you can use Coband to cover, use the bandage to cover your tattoos. If you're not quite as cool, then you can still use this for your wounds. Same thing if you watched one of the videos that had our conforming gauze, this is going to be a more advanced product of that. Coband will manipulate itself around any joint and anything. It's absolutely amazing. And the best part about it is that it sticks to itself. So you've got a wrist sprain, you know, you can get it down by the wrist and it immediately sticks to itself. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but like you can use this as truly kind of an ace bandage type material if you do not have that. The other application is going to be if you have any of your gauze that you have done on, under a wound. Whereas when, if you watch that video, Sterling used the, a particular wrap that he could st stick it into each other. This, you can put the material down, just wrap it around. This will tear, you don't actually need scissors and it just sticks to itself. And it, you can see even with the crinkles, it just completely uh, adheres to whatever it is wrapped around. And this is actually, it, it works great for this. You can actually use it even in the field for kind of a real quick down and dirty flint mm -hmm. style application, just like you have here. You can even add something hard to it to help keep a little bit more rigidity too. Yeah, if you are, just one thing I'll touch on because it's on there. If I was trying to use it as a support mechanism or especially, this would be great if you have an ankle sprain. It's ankle sprain is legitimately the most common injury on hiking. It's like not even comparable when you look at stats. So I'm putting that around the ankle or if it's a, I fall and I sprain my wrist, I'm going on both sides of the joint. I'm not just trying to support it a little bit here. I'm wrapping around the thumb. I am stabilizing both sections probably for three to four inches on each side. Make sure that I don't have that motion. Yeah, and it's super comfortable. Get you the next, next level of care as we always say. Absolutely. Cool.